So another topic uh, related to the space physics is about solar system. This is a very important topic. As you will find uh, most part of the questions, most part of the question uh, like related to for coming from this topic, solar system. So it's important you understand this. So the solar system or solar system consists of a sun. And all the objects which orbit it include the following. Like this is our sun. And all the objects which are, all the particles, all the stellar objects which are orbiting the sun. So there are eight planets. Pluto is not added as a planet. So we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jup uh, Jupiter is there. Then we have Saturn and Neptune and Uranus. But Pluto is not added as a, it's a dwarf planet, but not as a main planet. So basically, there are eight main planets are there and there are minor planets. There are two minor planets, like very small planets are there. One of them is known as Pluto. Another one is Iris, Eris. Pluto and Eris are known as the minor planet or also known as a dwarf planet. Like they are so small that the reason why they did not include them because if they include Pluto and Eris, it means there are about more than 200 more planets same like a Pluto. So they should include those 200 as well. That's why the minor planets such as a Pluto and Eris in 2014, the International Astronomical Union, they recognized that these planets are so small and there are about more than 200. So they remove that from the main planet. So the main planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Then these planets, some of the stellar objects revolve or move around these planets. What we call them, we call them as moon. So any stellar object which orbit these planets, like moving around the planet, what we call, we call that object as moon. So different planets have different satellite or th that is mainly in the term moon is used for them. And different planets So different planets have different number of the moons like orbiting bodies around them. Mercury does not have any moon. There is no moon for Mercury. For us, there is only we, we have only one moon, but for different planets have different number of moon. For Mercury, there is no moon. Like there's no orbiting stellar object around Mercury. There is no moon for Venus. We have one moon. Earth is having one moon. Like one object, a satellite, basically a, a natural satellite moving around the Earth. For the Mars, there are about two moons. So Mars is, a, the number of the moons better, you, you should have this information like Mars is having two moons. Then the Jupiter is having about 16 moons. So there are 16 moons are there for Jupiter. Then for Saturn is having about 20 moons. Then for Uranus, it's about 15. And for Neptune, it is, there are eight moons. So we have only one. Then Mars is having two. Then Jupiter 16, Saturn 20, Uranus 15, and Neptune is having eight moons. So moons are the objects which orbit the planet. And planets... Like moon is natural satellite. The satellite, there are a lot of satellites which we send. These are called artificial satellites which move around the earth. 
there are artificial satellite but natural satellite the is moon which is completely moving around the earth we are talking about the natural artificial there are many artificial satellite which we send from the earth which revolve around the earth uh, and we observe we use for probing like space probes are also so these these are the number of the moons around each planet then there are about like millions of asteroids and meteoroids this you can see in a solar system there is a asteroid belt like what this asteroid belt consists of there are like rocky objects which are smaller than the planets mostly rocks are there and these rocks are smaller than the planets and most of these asteroids are found between the mars and jupiter like this is the mars because we have mercury as one venus earth mars and the fifth one is jupiter so between mars the orbit of the mars and jupiter there is a ring of rocky object and this ring of rocky object is known as asteroid belt which consists of asteroids and meteoroids and then we have the comets what are comets you can see here these are the comets what is the definition of the comets comets are usually what are comets they are usually like giant snowballs and or <coughs> they are frozen balls of gases like mace mace so mainly these these are the comets and these comets are mainly consist of gases but these are like you can say uh, frozen balls of gas like the temperature is too low so they are frozen and these when these comets are moving because the gas some of the gas particles are left behind so we we'll, some of the gas particles are left behind so whenever comets comets are moving we'll see a trail of a gas like when planets are moving you don't see a trail from the planets but when comets are moving you can see the trail of the comet what is the reason for that because like gas particles are left behind so as as a result what we see it gives it gives a trail so comets which are often described as a giant snowballs they also orbit the comets are also orbiting the sun and the path of the or the comets it's it's elliptical so example this is a sun okay, this is our sun the gravity of the sun the ga gas gas comet means like the, it consists of different types of gases and it's mainly very low temperature so it's like a snowball when it moves when it moves it give a trail and this is the orbit of the comet one side it is very close to the earth other uh, sorry sun and other side it is away so when comets are moving when these comets are moving they left a trail like because the gas particles are left behind so we'll it's like a track we can see a track of the comet so comets are gaseous frozen balls which when they move when these they are moving as a result they will leave a trail behind them like say these are group of gas particles when it start to move some particles will move faster some will move slower so as a result we'll see a trail and that is what happen in a comet so if they ask complete and complete a path of a comet so how we complete we make elliptical path one side closer to the sun other side away from the sun comet can collide with comets can collide with the the possibilities are there the comets can collide with the planets as well so as these comets are they are getting near to the sun they heat up and as a result when they heat up they leave the trail of a dust in the gas behind them
It depends on the size of the comet. The size of the comet affects, like example, if a comet collided with any planet, it depends on the size of the comet. So the Hale-Pop comet, which was visible, that was in 1995, the last time comet was seen. And the next time when we'll see this comet, it's likely be to be 2533. So it is not expected to be visible again soon. Like after this many years, we'll see that comet again. So it is not expected to be visible again soon and it takes about 2,533 years to orbit the sun. Like this is a time it takes to orbit the sun. So it's a very long time. So it won't be visible again. We will see, but after this many years, 